what we want to do for this problem is the same, find the solution. So what we're going to be asked to do is we need to find the value of x. And when you're doing a problem like this, uh, a lot of times what we'd like to do is kind of do, um, uh, well, never mind, that's not going to work. Um, what we want to do is we want to get rid of everything that's happening to our x. So what I see here is I see that this x is being multiplied by the 5 and it's being added to by 3. So I need to undo my subtract, I need to undo my addition and undo my divide or my multiplication. But before I can do that, I have this whole thing squared. So I need to get rid of that squared. And the inverse of squaring or the opposite operation of squaring is to take the square root. So therefore I'm going to have 5x plus 3 equals the square root of 4. Now, the square root of 4 um, could equal positive 2 or it could also equal negative 2. We're not really too sure which one it's going to equal. Since I'm taking the square root, I'm going to say it's going to equal 2. And I'm also going to say that 5x plus 3 could also equal a negative 2. Now, to solve for each x, I subtract 3. So I get 5x equals negative 1 divided by 5 x equals a negative one-fifth. And over here, I subtract three. Five x equals a negative five. Divide by five. x equals a negative one. So the important thing to remember on this type of problem is, you know, you gotta undo that squaring by taking the square root. And then remember, when you're taking the square root of a number, you don't know if it's gonna be positive or negative. Um, so you're gonna want to Make sure you use both of those values in evaluating for the solutions.